Mercedes versus Vauxhall, AMG versus VXR, 577 brake horsepower versus 576 brake horsepower. Two big bruising saloons, each with a large forced induction V8 and rear wheel drive. A standing kilometre of empty runway awaits. So, Mercedes beats Vauxhall by less than six tenths of a second. The AMG stopped the clock at 21.88 seconds, the VXR8 at 22.45, and the gap could simply come down to the difference in gearboxes. With over 1100 brake horsepower and a similarly prodigious amount of torque between the two of them, you might have thought that they'd be leaving the line in a billowing cloud of white tyre smoke. But that's not the fastest way. The 577 brake horsepower E63S was actually the harder car to get cleanly off the line, and the best time wasn't achieved with the race start function, which seemed to leave the engine bogging down too much. Instead, it was simply a case of switching ESP off, holding it on the brake, and almost easing it off the line, squeezing on the throttle progressively. By contrast, the 576 brake horsepower VXR8 had crude but effective launch control, which just limited the revs until you dumped the clutch. Mercedes hit 60 miles an hour in 4.31 seconds, while the Vauxhall recorded 4.55. By 100 miles an hour, the gap had widened to the 6 tenths margin that would be maintained to the line, the E63 reaching the tonne in 8.92 seconds, while the Vauxhall managed a very creditable 9.53. The difference almost certainly came down to the gear changes, because although the new VXR8's manual is a vast improvement, it is still quite a burly shift that, no matter how fast you move your hand, inevitably loses a fraction to the Mercedes 7-speed auto with each upshift. Nevertheless, these big saloons are both hugely impressive. Complacent supercar drivers, beware. If you don't want to miss any more of our Wednesday battles, then be sure to click subscribe.